What's good, Riley Gang? This is an AMSR. <laughs> Good Riley Gang. You know, you back with another, bro. Listen, we about to get back into another Jubilee. What's good, gang? It's your boy Prince Riley back again, man. Listen, Riley Gang. Your boy Prince Riley is going to be coming for the YouTube throne, bro. Don't ever let them forget, man. We okay me and you guys all right we going to the top bro so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe bro because you part of the gang once you subscribe ain't no come ain't, listen ain't no leaving okay ain't nobody leaving all right we gonna come find you type stuff you know what i'm saying but listen Let's get back into this Jubilee series, man. We got so much videos to do, bro. Daily uploads. Bro, we coming out with so much content. It's not even funny, bro. Bro. Bro, I got some, I got some Wolverine stuff going on over here. I need to. Yeah, I need to, I need to fix that, bro. Uh, y'all, y'all excuse all that Wolverine stuff. It's not. You look like a <laughs> Uh, my bad, you know what I'm saying? But listen, let's get right into this Jubilee speed dating. Blind dating. Bruh, it's about to get crazy. How the fellas do, you know, I, I think my drip is pretty good, you know? How y'all feel about this? Rate that, rate, rate the drip below, okay? One to ten. Just take it easy on me, all right? I just, I just got some fresh pair of clothes and his hat's fresh too. God damn it. <laughs> What kind of dancing would we do? Like swing dancing? Ballroom dancing? I can do a little salsa, just a little bit, so. Mm. Where's the rhythm? Where is the rhythm? I have to find it. Pretty good, but you know, it'll work. We can work on that. Hi, I'm Jess, I am 21. So I only started getting into fashion really like my senior year of high school. I had to buy all my own clothes, so I got really into thrifting. I work part-time as an environmental consultant. She pretty though, she and pretty. And right pretty. now I'm studying for the LSAT, so I can- Rate her myself. down, chat. What I tend Ray to her. lean towards is like, Tyler the Creator, kind of. If a guy can pull off a suit, I'm also very into that too. Maybe into grunge, but also business casual. That would be the perfect man. <laughs> What is she talking about? She just, she just said 30 different drips. What is she talking about, bro? <laughs> Pick one. God damn. Yeah. I'm like not a huge shoe person in general. And my man got on the, <laughs> my man got on the, the sixties drip. <laughs> God damn. Probably like the last thing what I think about the hell? an outfit. But they say that you can tell the most about someone from their shoes. Okay, contestant number two. I like those shoes a lot. I would wear those shoes, yeah. <laughs> also, um, contestant what? number four. Uh, what'd she say? Okay, contestant number two. I like those shoes a lot. I would wear those shoes, yeah. Yeah, you're here. You're here to pick them based off their drip, not what she would wear. Okay. God damn, she's shopping already. Look at her. Also, um, contestant number four. Those are pretty nice. I'm curious what's gonna accompany the rest of those. I can't really tell too much off the bat. So, what kind of music is everyone into? My favorite genre is probably like rap, like Kanye, new album Donda. I also listen to like pop, like Ariana Grande, like 100 Gex. I'm a producer. I make a lot of music from different genres. Anything from like reggae to hip hop to house music. I'm a big R&B guy, but I definitely like to mix it up with alternative music as well. I listen to a lot of indie rock. My favorite bands are Sad Girl and a uh, band called Max. He, he, he just said indie rock. Dude, you look like you dressed in the 60s. What are you talking about? What is, what is we talking about here, bro? Stop also the cat. a lot of like old carny music, like Frank Sinatra. There Dwayne, you go. Bobby there Dan. you go. I'd say uh, favorite band, Rolling Stones, and favorite artist, Otis Redding. I like Thundercat and Prince. Prince is obviously the best musician of all time, so, you know. 
Bro, he gotta be kidding me. Why would, bro, why would you? He sold the bag. He came on the show and sold the bag, bro. Why would you wear those, bro? Come on. Stop playing with me. Oh my God. He sold the bag already. He has to be the first one eliminated. It's either him or the 60 guy. Very sadly, contestant number one. What? What? You just said his shoes was drip. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. You, your outfit is amazing, though. You I too, love it. <laughs> what happened to They brother and sister. <laughs> oh, it's just Nelly inspired. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is cool. <laughs> what? Well, like brother and sister. Can I look now? Ooh, okay. Contestant number five is not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> I don't wow. know. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what? I, what I does she mean by that? First be wearing, like, pants I don't know whether. Or, like, the... I don't know whether to be offended or is maybe just because of his drip. I, I don't know. Nah, it's probably like because it of his drip. I, I I'm, like I'm just playing with it. I'm just saying it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm very into it. Contestant number three is kind ah, of... Ah, she like liked that. Also she like that. She like that. You know what I'm saying? Like the... <sighs> the chocolate. Yeah. His music choices too, so very promising. Can I ask everyone a question now? Okay, where would we go on our first date and what would we be doing? Definitely love to go on a drive, probably somewhere like near the coast, you know, get that like nice ocean breeze. Afterwards, I would love to like show you some of my music and maybe cook you something if you're done. Okay, so um, I like to go out to like overlooks and, and cliffs and just kind of like watch the stars or just, just uh, chill in the car. She don't want talk that. And like we'll really get to know you. you saw okay, face. so for me, I consider myself like a big Romantic. Definitely gonna take you out to dinner. Maybe a place I haven't tried before or somewhere that I know that's really good. And then maybe go like dancing or. What kind of dancing would we do? Like swing dancing? Ballroom dancing? I can do a little salsa, just a little bit. So. Mmm. It's not very good, but you know. Rhythm. We need it. Where is it? I can't find it. It'll work. We can work on that. I'd probably take you for a ride out to my favorite spot on uh, Angel's Crest Highway and we probably would have a picnic there and after then he said his favorite spot <laughs> what do you mean by that art museum what would you drive us to the spot in a motorcycle if that's oh, okay yeah i've never been on the back of yeah the she she actually. she feeling him There's she feeling him Peep i would game. choose a drive-in movie i drive a truck so I've got a pretty impressive drive-in movie set up. Air mattress, blankets, pillows, picnic, all of that, all set up. She not feeling his dude. Movie, if you're into that sort of Ooh, thing. I, do I love like horror, horror movies. movies. The two? Oh, I only had one. Okay, I have to rethink now. I'm gonna eliminate contestant number two. Really? Just... I'm surprised. Hi, guys. <laughs> Nice Sorry. to meet you. I mean, you. like Lenny nice Kravitz. You. Sorry, your answer is no, just fine. not as He looks like Lenny Kravitz, the yeah, younger version. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. If y'all so know who Lenny Kravitz is, Google it. Contestant number two. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hi. No, you're totally good. I'm Jess. <laughs> I'm Jess. I nice love your you. outfit so Thank much. Thank you. Though. I appreciate it. And about the sustainable fashion, I work mm -hmm. at a thrift store. Really? Yeah. So oh, I'm like. That would have been a power couple. I feel like the tops definitely match the pants. I still really like the outfit on the end. You have a really cool what? style. What? Yeah, I like the, the leather jacket goes with the motorcycle, goes with the rock she, music. She, it's all making sense now. She, yeah. She probably oh, gonna do number two. I, I mean, <laughs> it looks very like comfy. Oh. I see maybe she a little to play bit him. of a chain. She's trying to play him. 
Where do you see yourself in five years? I am leaving in about six months uh, to Asia. I'm starting a business project in the Philippines with my friend. We are developing affordable housing for pretty much anyone around the world to be able to vacation. I'm trying to you know, make it more accessible for people to be able to visit beautiful places. Oh, that's a great answer. Yeah, it's super sweet. I like that. <laughs> Probably tattooing and traveling at the same time. Currently, I'm doing a tattoo apprenticeship down in OC. Hopefully that will give me opportunity to travel and work at the same time. So what got you that's cool, that's dope, tattoos, that's dope. What was your first tattoo? Well, what got me into tattooing was art in general and I've been drawing all my life. I have a degree in fine arts. I just figured that's a way to make money and do what I love. And first tattoo, I was 17 and it was in New York City and I got a skull on the inside of my bicep. I do not have any tattoos right now, but I do want to get one eventually. I'm pretty stationary compared to everybody else, I suppose. I would like to either open up my own dealership or start brokering out cars personally. Cars are my passion, so. What's your dream car? Ooh, that's a hard, that's, I'm a big Mercedes-Benz guy. I worked for them for about four years, so maybe, I would say. Hey, what kind of cars you got into, bro? Comment down below, bro, I wanna know. An SLS Gullwing. I think the first person I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number two. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Hi, hey. I'm Jess. Nice to meet Morrow. you. Maro, pleasure meeting you. Wait, what is it? Maro. Maro. Nice he looked like a young. He, he looked like a young Johnny Depp. <laughs> Thank you. I like yours too. Thank you. <laughs> Give me thirty seconds. Give me thirty seconds. <laughs> hey. It's between the Breakfast Club, okay, the movie, okay, not 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 the radio show, the movie, <laughs> and do the right thing. <laughs> it's between those two. <laughs> <laughs> this is really tough. <laughs> I feel like I like both their outfits in different ways, so now I gotta think back to the answers. <laughs> Tag team. I'm in the. Eliminate contestant number two. I'm so sad about it though. Whoa, we knew that was coming. Good. Hi, I'm Jess. Nice to meet you, Jess. Quinn. Quinn, nice to meet you too. Sorry, it's very narrow. It's very <laughs> close. <laughs> hey, I'm Jess. Hey, what's up? Nice meeting you. What's your name? Taryn. I'm honestly really excited about what you're doing in the future. What in the, what in the little Nas little Uzi in the world is <sighs> comment down below y'all feeling his drip y'all feeling his style let me know personally it ain't my cup of tea but you know to each his own to each his own oh thank you That's i liked really what cool you were idea. gonna do like your plan for five years i was very into it awesome and i think it was your first date that like really got me because it sounded oh. like fun i think there's definitely like a lot of elements that i do like the jewelry i've never gone for before but i kind of like it glad i'm spicing it up yeah you are spicing it up <laughs> i mean let's get married Oh, yeah, okay. I have rings. Oh, you have multiple. Yours are cooler hey, than mine, too. We're okay. getting married. We're married! It was good to be. Oh. It was good to be. Then go for a drive into the distance. Yeah, into the sunset. Uh, not on a motorcycle. Obviously. <laughs> Listen, bro. Shout out to Jubilee, bro. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the Twitch, subscribe to the TikTok, bro. Subscribe to everything, cause Riley Gang is here to stay, bro. We coming for the throne in 2022, bro. A million pack, bro. Nothing less, bro. But y'all know what time it is. It's your boy Prince Riley, and I'm out, man. Peace.